in the previous section we have studied about fundamentals of motion but now we have to particularly study about uniformly accelerated motion so exactly what uniformly accelerated motion is uniformly accelerated motion is the motion in which acceleration of a particle is constant which implies that velocity of a particle is going to linearly vary with time here there are three important equations of motion related to uniformly accelerated motion let's study all of them one by one there are two methods using which you can derive these equations one is using integration and second is using graphical analysis in this video we'll be particularly discussing the method using integration while the method using graphical analysis will be discussed in the next video so let's start deriving all the equations one by one consider a situation where there is a particle there is a blob which is moving on a ground along horizontal direction initially with speed u at time t equals to 0 the particle is at x equals to x1 after any time t let's say the velocity of the particle becomes v and its position changes to x equals to x2 the first equation of motion can simply be derived using the definition of acceleration acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity and hence we can write it as dv by dt which is basically the acceleration at any given instant now if we take this dt term on the other side we get a into dt is equal to dv if we integrate on both these sides it is given in the situation that at time t equals to 0 the velocity of the particle is u and after any time t the velocity is v now if we integrate and substitute the upper and lower limits we will get a into t is equals to v minus u if we just rearrange the terms a bit we will get v minus u is equals to at and if you take u on the right hand side you will get v is equals to u plus at this is the first equation of motion it is the first equation of uniformly accelerated motion let's move on to the second equation now that we know what velocity is in terms of time and also we know that how can we relate velocity with displacement so in this equation in the first equation if you substitute velocity as dx by dt so you'll get dx by dt is equals to u plus at in this equation again if you take dt on the other side you will get dx is equals to u plus at multiplied by dt now if you integrate on both the sides again you will get x as a function of t but for that you have to substitute the limits it's given that at time t equals to 0 particle is at x1 and at time t equals to t the particle is at x2 if we integrate both the sides and substitute the limits we get x2 minus x1 is equals to ut plus half a t square where x2 minus x1 is the displacement so from here you get the second equation of motion s is equals to ut plus half a t square now let's move on to equation number three we have studied in the previous sections that acceleration can be written in several forms instantaneous acceleration can be written as a is equals to dv by dt it can also be written as a equals to d2x by dt square and can also be written as a is equals to v dv by dx this equation will help us to find out the third equation of motion so third equation of motion can be written as a equals to v dv by dx where if you take this dx on the other side you will get a into dx is equals to v times dv in this situation it is given that at time t equals to 0 particle is at x1 and its initial velocity is u after any time t the velocity of the particle changes to v and its position changes to x2 now on integrating both the sides you will get a into x2 minus x1 which is equals to integration of v dv is going to be v square by 2 so if you substitute v square by 2 here 
and substitute the limits from u to v, then you get a into x2 minus x1 can be written as s, which is the displacement because it's the difference between final and initial position. So a into s will be equals to substitute upper and lower limits and you will get v square by 2 minus u square by 2. Since the base on the right hand side is common, you can take it on the left hand side and multiply it with as. So you will get 2as is equals to v square minus u square. If we rearrange the terms a bit, you will get v square is equals to u square plus 2as which is the third equation of motion. So these are the three equations of motion of particularly uniformly accelerated motion which can help you a lot in solving the problems. But be careful while using these equations. These can only be used if acceleration is constant or if velocity is linearly changing with time. In all the other cases, you must use the differential equations. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll derive all the three equations using graphical analysis. Till then, stay tuned with Tutorac.